So the paper we published in Molecular Cell recently uh, concerns a gene called RAS, which is normally involved in regulating cell division uh, in healthy cells, but it's very frequently mutated in cancer. In about 30% of cancers, this gene is present in a superactive form, and uh, it actually promotes runaway uh, cell division, which is essentially what cancer is. It's a uh, context where cells divide when they shouldn't divide. Now, just to explain cell division, which my lab has been interested in for about 10 years now, um, cell death and cell division really govern the number of cells uh, that end up in our bodies. And um, there are literally hundreds of billions of cells in our bodies. And it's important that they only divide when they should divide and they only die when they should die. Otherwise, we would have uh, too many cells in certain places or too few cells in others. Now, normally, cells only divide when they're given permission. And that permission comes in the form of factors that are called growth factors. And when cells receive these factors, they, that initiates a process in a cell where uh, these master regulators are turned on and they coordinate the process of cell division, the, the process of creating an extra cell. <coughs> now, um, sometimes uh, what happens is that these regulatory proteins that, that coordinate cell division become mutated. And in cancer, um, one of these that becomes mutated is RAS. Uh, and it's, as I mentioned at the outset, it's found in about 30% of human cancers in mutant form. But the curious thing is we found that when you introduce this mutant form of RAS into healthy cells, instead of getting extra cells, in fact you get uh, fewer cells. Cells actually undergo this process of self-destruction called autophagy, um, which is actually a type of cannibalization where the cell really eats itself to death. Now normally autophagy would be invoked in situations of starvation, but it appears when RAS is switched on um, when it shouldn't be, which is in the case of a mutation where you have this superactive RAS, it's it switched on inappropriately because you don't have the normal permission to divide, then what happens is that it ramps up this process of, of self-cannibalization or autophagy and that leads to eventually the cell killing itself. Now this is obviously a good thing because this is what you want to happen when a cell detects that something is wrong. It really acts as a safeguard against cancer. So normally that prevents cancer happening in, in our bodies um, on an ongoing basis. In fact, cancer is relatively rare as a consequence. Now the significance of this is the fact that uh, RAS turns on autophagy in normal cells uh, that in order to get a cancer you probably have to find a workaround and we, we discovered two things about the process. First of all we discovered that RAS turns on this self-eating process through uh, regulating the expression of two killer genes one of which is called NOXA, the other of which is called Becklin-1 and second that we found we could switch off the process and therefore facilitate the progression to cancer if we neutralize this autophagy by switching on another family of genes called the BCL2 family. And that gives us a clue as to what might be going on in cancer, how, how cancer arises in the first place, maybe through RAS finding an antidote to this process of autophagy that it normally would trigger in a healthy cell. And the antidote, as I say, can come in the form of BCL2 family proteins or anything that could switch off the process of, of cannibalization. Um, so the, the potential applications are that um, apart from understanding um, how cancers may arise in the first place, it also gives a new avenue of attack in treating cancers by potentially trying to uh, turn back on this process of, of autophagy or ramp it up somehow um, in the cancer situation. And finally, I'd like to add that this work was funded by Science Foundation Ireland.